What lies beneath the icy surface of Pluto? New Horizons probes set out to answer this question, and the findings are potentially groundbreaking. Since its launch in 2006, the New Horizons probe has made history as it explored our solar system further than ever before. In 2005, it made a flyby of Pluto and revealed never-before-seen details about the dwarf planet. But what's been discovered is far more surprising. Join us as we uncover these discoveries and explore the implications for humanity. The New Horizons probe was a space mission launched by NASA in 2006, with the primary objective to explore the dwarf planet Pluto and its moon Charon. After a nine-year journey over three billion miles, the probe reached Pluto in 2015, providing humanity with our first close-up views of this distant world. The data collected from this flyby revealed a diverse landscape, including vast plains filled with nitrogen ice and evidence of ancient oceans beneath the icy surface. Before launching the New Horizons mission, our expectations of Pluto were that it was an icy, barren planet with little to no geological activity. This assumption was based on observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories, which indicated that Pluto had only a few patches of faint coloration and lacked any large surface features. We also expected that its atmosphere would be thin and mostly composed of nitrogen. However, when the New Horizons spacecraft flew past the small world in 2015, it revealed a much more complex picture than previously thought. Scientists found evidence for active geology, including mountain ranges and possible cryovolcanoes erupting volatile ices like methane and nitrogen ice. They also observed surprisingly strong winds blowing across its landscape. One of the most exciting discoveries from this extended mission to Pluto is that there may be oceans hidden beneath its frozen surface. This possibility was first discovered by data collected by New Horizons during its flyby of Pluto, showing that much of Pluto's icy crust could have been formed as a result of cryovolcanic activity below. Subsequent research has also revealed evidence for a subsurface ocean of liquid water, which could potentially support life if it exists on or within Pluto's surface. While further research will be needed to confirm the presence and nature of any such oceans on Pluto, the discovery from New Horizons has opened up a whole new realm of scientific exploration and has the potential to greatly expand our view of the possibilities for life beyond Earth. Using the data from New Horizons, scientists could determine that there are large amounts of underground water in the form of frozen ice. This suggests that beneath Pluto's cold and rugged surface, there lies liquid ocean water. The presence of these oceans indicates that Pluto may have been capable of sustaining life in its distant past providing further evidence for the possibility of extraterrestrial life elsewhere in our solar system. Scientists believe these findings could have implications for other planets and moons throughout our universe as well, suggesting that they may also contain hidden oceans deep underneath their surfaces. In addition, they believe this could open the door to further discoveries about our solar system and beyond. Pluto's water cycle is a unique phenomenon not seen elsewhere in the solar system. The New Horizons probe has revealed evidence of an active water cycle on Pluto, which includes vaporizing ice, freezing liquid nitrogen, and transporting it across the surface. This process explains the presence of glaciers and deposits of methane at different altitudes around Pluto. It also provides clues to how Pluto's atmosphere thickens during its long orbit around our Sun as warmer temperatures cause more evaporation, while colder temperatures encourage more snowfall. The findings from New Horizons suggest that this process has been occurring for billions of years, providing a stable source of water for Plutonian geology. Further studies are needed to understand the full complexity of Pluto's water cycle and how this cycle affects the planet's other processes. The conditions necessary for life as we know it involves a complex mix of elements and energy sources. The most important components are liquid water, organic molecules, and an energy source such as sunlight or chemical energy. All three of these must be present in order for any kind of biological activity to occur. Unfortunately, when it comes to Pluto, the lack of light from the sun makes photosynthesis impossible and thus unable to sustain any form of life on its surface. Furthermore, it's believed that because of its distance from the sun and low temperatures, negative 375 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 226 Celsius, there may not even be any liquid water beneath the icy crust. 
This means that although there might be certain conditions suitable for microbial life in this distant dwarf planet, it's unlikely that there are any living organisms present today. However, it is possible that with future advances in technology and exploration, we may one day be able to detect signs of life on Pluto or its moons. For now, though, the conditions necessary for life as we know it do not appear to exist in this far-off world. The discovery of ocean worlds like Europa and Enceladus from Saturn's orbit has revealed the potential for other planetary bodies to have subsurface oceans. This has stirred up speculation about what kind of extraterrestrial life might exist on planets such as Pluto with possible under-ice oceans. New Horizons data could provide further evidence that these icy worlds may be capable of harboring forms of primitive life, either in their oceans or beneath the surface. The mission will also provide valuable insights into how ice and ocean worlds form, how they evolve over time, and whether or not conditions are right for them to sustain life. In addition, researchers are hopeful that the data sent back by New Horizons can help paint a better picture of the Kuiper Belt, the region of our solar system that lies beyond Neptune. This could help us discover more objects on the fringes of our solar system and unlock the secrets to why icy worlds form and how they interact with their environment. Ultimately, New Horizons' extended mission could provide vital insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. With each passing discovery, we're getting closer to unlocking the mysteries of space that have captivated humans for generations. Who knows what lies ahead? The implications of the discovery of ocean worlds beyond Earth's orbit are significant for human exploration and solar system research. For starters, this opens up possibilities of possible life elsewhere in our solar system. As we begin to explore these distant locations, it is likely that scientists will discover more information about the potential habitability of these oceans as well as their role in the formation and evolution of planetary systems. Additionally, this discovery has also opened up possibilities for new mission designs and propulsion capabilities, thus enabling us to expand our exploration efforts even further out into space. Finally, it marks a major step towards humanity's collective goal of venturing farther out into the unknown than ever before, an accomplishment that would have been impossible just a generation ago. With these incredible possibilities, the implications of New Horizons' discoveries are truly remarkable and only the beginning of an exciting era of space exploration. Exploring Pluto's oceans and surfaces presents a host of benefits as well as challenges. Potential future missions to explore the dwarf planet could provide scientists with invaluable information about the evolutionary history of our solar system, providing insight into where our planets come from and how they form. Additionally, exploring Pluto's ocean could give us valuable data about potential habitats for life forms, something that's been discussed for decades without any concrete evidence. However, one of the primary challenges faced when planning a mission to explore this region is the sheer distance involved. It would take immense energy and resources to send a probe or other instrumentation out so far away, as well as an adequate way to return any data collected back to Earth. Despite these obstacles, further exploration of Pluto's oceans and the surface is an attractive possibility one which could provide us with unprecedented insight into our corner of the universe. The discovery of potential oceans beneath the surface of Pluto presents an exciting prospect for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. With additional exploration, we can gain invaluable insight into the formation and evolution of our solar system and potentially uncover new forms of life on other worlds. Though this endeavor is sure to come with its own unique set of challenges, it's a journey worth taking if it means furthering human understanding of the universe around us. Ultimately, New Horizons' extended mission has presented us with a remarkable opportunity to explore the unknown, and one that could ultimately lead to discoveries that change our world forever.